This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 17, verses 11, 17 to 23. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. For I'm no longer going to be visible in the world. They will continue in the world. While I return to you, Holy Father, guide them as they pursue this life, that you confess as a gift through me, so they can be one heart and mind as we are one heart and mind. They are no longer defined by the world, then I am defined by the world. Make them holy. consecrated with the truth your word is consecrating truth in the same way that you gave me a mission in the world i gave them a mission in the world i am consecrating myself for their sakes so there will be truth consecrated in their mission i am praying not only for them but also for those who will believe in me because of them and their witnesses about me The goal is for all of them to become one heart and mind, just as you, Father, are in me and I in you, so they might be one heart and mind with us. Then the world might believe that you, in fact, sent me. The same glory you gave me, I gave them, so they will be as unified and together as we are, I in them and you in me. Then they will be mature in this oneness and give the godless world evidence that you have sent me and loved them in the same way you loved me. Reflections on the Holy Gospel according to St. John chapter 17 verse 11 and 17 to 23. You shall be my witnesses. Acts of the Apostles chapter 1 verse 8 is the theme that Pope Francis has chosen for this year's World Mission Sunday which we celebrate today. The mission mandate that the Lord gives to his present day church is to identify the new geographical, social and existential peripheries, the places and people of the margin where we shall be witnesses to the love of Christ towards all. The Pope says this is how we are to understand in today's terms the phrase the ends of the earth to where we are called to be witnesses of Christ. Mission Sunday is an invitation to look beyond ourselves, our parishes, our communities to understand, appreciate and participate in the life and mission of the universal church. The gospel reading chosen for today is John chapter 17 verse 11 and 17 to 23 as it is a mission Sunday. The gospel invites us to reflect on Jesus' prayer for his missionaries. From the priestly prayer of Jesus, evangelist John identifies two kinds of conflicts that would trouble his church. The first is the persecution of the disciples by the powers of this world. And the second is the divisions within the church. Jesus prays that his followers of all generations, including ourselves today, that we will withstand the hatred of this world and its persecutions and will stay united as children of one father. Jesus did not pray that his disciples should be taken out of this world. He never prayed that they might find an escape. Instead, He insisted that his followers must live out their lives in faith amid the harsh realities of the world. Our faith in Jesus does not offer us immunity from problems, but he opens a way to solve them. Divisions within communities are normal. It is just what happens. But what is important is how to work towards reconciliation and greater unity. Jesus prayed for the unity of his disciples. Where there are divisions, exclusiveness and competition, the mission of the church is defeated. 
a divided church where the faithful hate one another over traditions liturgy and rubrics cannot evangelize the world unfortunately individuals and groups within the church prevent god from acting on our lives and we refuse to be united mission sunday highlights the importance of praying for the church participating in the mission of christ and supporting church's mission around the world our prayer reflection and material help are lifelines to missionaries and faithful on all continents striving to preach and live the good news that god loves us in his message for the world mission sunday pope francis says the disciples are to be witnesses of jesus in every place and situation thanks to the grace of the holy spirit that they will receive the church's only mission as the community of christ's disciples is to bring the gospel to the entire world by bearing witness to christ